at last, all the way back in November, I believe it was November of last year, I did a giveaway and there was a head-to-head -head contest between Bunny and Lori and they raced to the finish because you know why? They wanted to win one of my fully restored machines. And when the final bell was rung, Lori ended up prevailing, but as you might remember, I was so inspired by the competition, the friendly competition between these two ladies that I said, you know what, doggone it, I'm going to give two machines away. And that's what I decided to do. And why are you looking at a Canada hat right now? What, what's up with that? Well, as you might remember in some of the posts on Facebook, these two machines that I ended up giving away, a 185K and a 185J, are both from Canada and they are marvelous machines as you're gonna see shortly I have a crazy idea boy that shocks you right as my good friend Bill from Florida says Scott I love you man but you're a nut and you make sewing crazy fun and that's my goal I don't want to be a drab dab type video guy like a lot of these folks posting on YouTube where they show this is how you wind a bobbin and this is the balance wheel and everybody's falling asleep. Come on, come to life. Sewing is a, an amazing, I'd almost call it an Olympic sport. And that's kind of what you're going to see today as I present these two machines head to head. This is obviously that fantastic 185K that Bunny won. And this one was born, as you can see, back in the 1950s. Only 50,000 made in that manufacturing group. And it's listed both as a 185K and a 99K, like I showed in that other video. And it is a phenomenal machine. It just has, after I've gone through this machine inside and out, it just has rocket power. It's crazy, crazy strong with that 0.8 amp motor and it's so much fun to do heavy duty with it and just do a variety of sewing. It really is, it's a phenomenal machine. And when I say a variety of sewing, I'm dead serious. This stack over here is for Bunny's machine. This stack over here is for Lori's machine and I'm gonna try to get through every single one of those sew-offs. Everything from a light cotton polyester to leather to U.S. Army grade canvas to denim. Oh my gosh, it just goes on and on and on and on. And what more of an appropriate way to introduce these two machines since they've been finalized than with some really fun music. That shocks you as well, I'm sure. So this is Lori's really, really cool and gorgeous 185J. And again, when you look this machine up by serial number, and it was made in St. John's, Quebec, Canada, you really can't get a fine-tuned birth date. It says basically between 1954 and 1950, uh, 1961, excuse me. So you got a wide span. Lori, you're so fortunate, you're gonna be able to pick your own birthday. Anytime between uh, 54 and 61, and you'll be good to go. So that'll be a lot of fun. And this machine as well is just unbelievably strong and rocket power when it comes to power. 0.8 amps just like uh, Bunny's machine and unbelievably powerful when it comes to doing uh, every type of heavy grade sewing. I'm so excited for these two ladies, whether it's Lori's uh, 185J or Bunny's 185K, these machines are absolutely drop dead gorgeous in that classic green style and also are phenomenally strong. I think I said that right, phenomenally. Yeah, something like that. All right, so you're gonna notice right away something different as I sit down here, that I've got my goggles on, man. You already know that this is gonna be an intense race as soon as I put these on, because it's gonna be from work one workbench to another workbench, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, with some really fun music in the background, and I'm gonna have to try to keep up with these machines. I know the machines can keep up, but I don't know if I can. So I'm gonna probably take a quick swig 
of water before we start this ordeal because I'm going to need it. And when we get done with this, I hope you've seen the proof in the pudding, the evidence that whether it's Lori's 185J or whether it's Bunny's 185K, these machines are crazy excited to meet these ladies and get to work. And it gives all of you an incentive that sat in the shadows, sat along uh, on the sidelines and let these other two ladies take the lead and take control and cross that line of victory in winning these two amazing machines. Because the rest of you could have gone into the race too, but you didn't. But I got great news for you. Believe it or not, it's only been back in November when we did that contest to celebrate 4,000 subscribers and over a million unique views on this Cow Country Vintage Sewing and Restoration YouTube channel. Whoever thought that there would be that much interest in what we do and what we love? But obviously, because there's not a lot of channels in our niche that can say, we've had a million visitors to our channel, unique visitors, not duplicate, and they love what we do. And we've got like 170 countries that love what we do. And it's because of the passion that all of us pour into this journey called vintage sewing machines. All right? So enough talk, right? Let's get busy. And I'm going to have to take these off for now just so I can get my way over to the other workbench. Otherwise, you're going to hear a lot of crashing and a lot of bumping and knocking things over and that's no good so i'm going to put these on the front of this table where all this sew off material is and we're going to get busy but we can't start unless we have what music <laughs> get ready <laughs> oh i love this <laughs> Oh yeah, not quite dueling banjos, but you know what, it's got a little bit of that. Let me see if I can zoom in on this needle on Bunny's machine and we're going to do our first sew off, which is going to be a real light sew off from a standpoint of material weight. It's going to be a polyester cotton and we're going to see what this machine can do sewing light. I mean, we already know that it can get heavy duty done. Let's see how it does with a material like this. Here we go. <laughs> oh, is that smooth? Woo! All right, I gotta stay ready. Oh, is that gorgeous or what? I'm not gonna zoom in because we gotta keep our momentum going, but you're gonna see these at the end, I promise. All right, the same thing now on Lori's machine. I got to move the camera. It's only me, a force of one. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, I got to get some momentum going here. I got to get, I got to speed things up. I'm slowing down already. Did I, spin, I didn't even spin that screen around. Here we go. All right, all right. Same thing on Lori's machine. Ooh, I'm liking the sound of that. You're gonna have to declare a victor at the end of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's sharp. That's looking really good. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What are we doing next? What's our next one? Oh my gosh. This is that nylon webbing stuff. This is crazy. It's got like a 2,000 pound tinsel strength. I hope it's only one layer. Is it one layer? Is it one? Oh my Lord. It's two layers. <laughs> all right, let's get over to the needle. First of all, on Bunny's machine. Let's get really close. Come on, Scott. Turn the screen around, my friend. All right, two layers, here we go. 
Oh boy, this is a little scary, a little scary. Oh my gosh, it didn't even blink. What? What? Bunny, get on your seatbelt, this thing's crazy. Oh my lord. Oh, good. All right, let's keep going. Next one, next one. Same so off over on Lori's machine. Where are we? There it is. All right, two layers, nylon webbing. Oh, come on now. We can't have silence when we do this. We need some inspiration for Lori's machine too. Come on, give me something, folks. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right, let's go. That is just too easy, man. That is way too easy. What? Oh yeah, looking great, looking great. Let's keep on rolling. What's next? We're going back to Bunny's machine. Right, what are we doing now? Are we gonna do something really easy? I doubt it. Knowing me, I probably have something ridiculous. What is it? Oh boy. Leather? One layer? Two layers? What is it? Of course it's two layers. Ah! All right. Over to the 185K. Let's see what this machine can do with this. Two layers. And this looks like vegetable tan leather. This stuff is tough, very tough to get through. Let's see how we can do. Holy mackerel. Come on. Give us a challenge. Give us something. Oh, is that... I love the way this pink looks on this leather. What do you think? Oh, yeah. All right. Back to Lori's machine. We're going to do the same thing. Lori's machine is going to do the same vegetable tan leather. If you're getting seasick, it's my fault. All right, here we go. The same stuff, exactly the same sew off, going back and forth and back and forth. All right, here we go. Easy peasy. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable, unbelievable what these machines can do. Those Canadians did a decent job with these. Look at that. Unbelievable stitch. All right, let's keep on going, folks. We're going to run out of music or run out of storage or run out of something. What's our next task? Come on, move the camera, Scott. Move the camera, my friend. What is it? That looks like a light so off. Oh, well, that's okay. That's all right. We're good with that. I've had people ask several times. Come on, you're always showing, showing the hardcore stuff. What about light stuff? Well, we can do that too. My machines can do anything. It's like a superpower. Here we go. Oh, this is like a polyester cotton too. This can be tricky to sew with, folks. It really can be. Here we go. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> Unbelievably easy for this machine. Come on, get your get yourself ready, Scott. Get a challenge going, my friend. Get something. Oh my lord, this is just too easy. Gorgeous stitch. Wow. Alright, back to Lori's. Why does the music keep ending on hers? Is it just timing? Is it a conspiracy? What's going on? All right, let's get some more music going. Back at the presser foot and needle of Lori's 185J, and we need some inspiration, folks. We need some inspiration right now. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right, 
This is a lightweight sew-off for these heavyweight machines. Only three-quarter size, smaller than the featherweight, smaller than the 99K, and yet, boy, oh boy, do they love sewing! <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Come on, pull that through, buddy. Oh yeah, that's looking good. All right, let's keep moving. No rest for the weary, no rest for the weary. What's next? Something easy, right? Where's the table? Ah, uh, no. That's looking like genuine cowhide leather. Please tell me it's one piece. Two? What? Are you out of your mind, Scott? Two pieces? All right, pal. You say so. You're the boss. Let's get over to the needle. Woo, that was fun. All right. Two layers. Genuine cowhide. This stuff is rough and tough, but not as tough as Bunny's machine. You ready, Bunny? Come on. Get down there. Press her foot. Here we go. Oh, that was fun to throttle up just a little bit. You caught that, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you did. I can't slip anything past you guys. <laughs> All right, get that thread ready. We're not done yet. Oh, my gosh. I love the way this machine sews. All right, back over to Lori's. The same thing, and I hope the music doesn't end again or I'm really going to be freaked out. Oh yeah, where's the machine? Did we move the machine? No, there it is. All right, same thing on Lori's. Don't you end music. We're almost there. I should have taken two gulps of water. All right, here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Did we make it? Oh yeah, we did. Just in the nick of time. <laughs> oh, that's a gorgeous stitch. Look at look at the way your machine sews, Lori. That 185J, just a gorgeous stitch. Okay, more music. We're not done with this, folks. We are not done. I wish we were done because this is like running a small marathon, but it's not. Let's see if this one's any good. Ah, uh, no, too slow. Okay, all right. Feel like having a picnic, but that's cool. All right. Back over to our Canadian table. Where are you? There you are. What's our next sew off? Ah, some leather suede. It looks like at least two layers. Let's get over to Bunny's machine and get geared up for this. This is tricky stuff. It's really, really easy to have this stuff slip underneath the presser foot. Come on, zero in there, camera. We're not done. There we go. All right, some leather suede. Here we go, folks. I just want to verify. Oh, I'm wrong. This is like four layers. Four layers of leather suede. Here we go. See how that kind of puckers? The stuff really wiggles and jiggles when you're trying to sew it. It is tricky stuff. But you know what? Not too tricky for this 185K. There we go. Oh yeah. Beautiful stitches. All right, we're back over to Lori's machine. Oh man, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, that's not the machine. Aha! I found you. All right. 185J, gonna try the same thing. Again, this stuff is tricky, tricky, tricky to sew. It's real slippery underneath that presser foot. Here we go, folks.
Beautiful stitches. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Look at those. Oh yeah. Let's keep going. Back over to Bunny's machine. What's next? Yes, I know we're in Canada. Ah, looks like we got some good old denim. How many layers are we going to do? What do we have folded right now? Four? And we can either do four or six. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fold it to get six or not. And that's going to be a tricky one. I think we'll just stick with four right now. All right, over to Bunny's machine. There we go. of heavy grade denim on the 185K. Let's see how we do. Not even a hiccup from this machine. It's like, come on. Are you going to give us a challenge? We're inspired by this music. We went through it easy peasy. Look at it, ended that time on Bunny's machine. So that's four layers of heavy grade denim, gorgeous stitch. A Little bit hard to see on that pink, but you know what, that's okay. All right, we need some music again to get us going here, folks. Give us something, Scott, give us something, my friend. What do you got? I'm okay if you repeat the same songs, they're good stuff. Yeah, that'll work. All right, same thing on Lori's machine, the 185J is now going to take on four layers of heavy grade denim after going through all these other sew-offs. Four layers, here we go! All right, let's see if we can finally challenge this machine. I'm not thinking we're going to be able to. Oh, I almost stopped in the up position. That was cool. Oh, nice looking stitches. Oh yeah, looking great. All right, let's not slow down. We gotta keep going, we gotta keep going. What's next? Aha! U.S. Army grade canvas. All right, let's get over to Bunny's machine and get this done. Any of you are wanting to try this at home, drink an energy drink first, trust me. What do we got? One, two, three, four layers of U.S. Army grade canvas. I don't know if I should try it. Eight layers. Let's do it. Eight layers of U.S. Army grade canvas. Here we go. <sighs> I might doze off here because this is not even challenging. Bunny's 185K. It's like, come on, Scott. Oh my gosh. And look at those. Look at those stitches. Beautiful. All right, Lori, here we go. We're going to try to do eight layers of U.S. Army grade canvas on yours, kiddo. Here we go. I can't believe I decided to do this, man. Whoa, I'm dropping stuff. Ah. Here we go. Second to the last sew-off. All right, we got four layers right there. We're gonna fold it again, eight layers. Oh boy, I hope I didn't bite off more than I can chew. Eight layers of US Army grade canvas. Come on, Lori! Not even a challenge. Are you serious? I thought it was pushing the limits a little bit. This is crazy, oh my gosh. And those are gorgeous stitches too. 
And look at the thickness of that eight layers of U.S. Army grade canvas. I'm shaking. All right, one more sew off. This is a buckram material. This stuff is like sewing patio blocks, folks. This stuff right here I'm talking about. If you could see those fibers up close, this is not felt. This is like a buckram heavy grade material, and it is create. That's my computer. That's not what I'm looking at. Where is it? Aha! This stuff is crazy tough to sew through. Honestly, it is. It's really, really tough. And it's even tougher to sew through without some inspiration. So let's look at that Canadian maple leaf. And at that powerful name of Canada, our neighbors to the north. And let's get something to get inspired with. Oh, yeah, that'll work. All right. Back over to the 185K. Going to be heading out to the great state of Oregon real soon to join uh, Bunny out there. And she's going to do some amazing things with this machine, let me tell you. But first of all, we have to get through this final hurdle of this buckram stuff. And I'm going to do a little bit of jazzy wazzy going on now. We're going to see if we can zip down, turn around, and race to the finish with this 185K born in 19... 58. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to get dizzy. Yeah. That is definitely a success. No matter what we threw in front of this 185K, it just goes, no problem, man. I'm going to head out to Bunny's. And we're going to do some real work, Scott, but thanks for the ride, pal. Look at that. And look at again on the side of this stuff. It is like sewing patio blocks. And this 185K said, no problem, buddy. All right. The final sew-off on Lori's 185J. Here we go. The same thing. Hurry up. The music is almost over, Scott. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, pal. Kick it in. Kick it in. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh, we turned too soon. We turned too soon. Come on, Scott. Come on, finish it up, buddy. Let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> Woo! All right. Oh, I don't even know what that is. That almost looks like one of those mazes where you're trying to find your way from the start to the finish. Sort of, kind of. Beautiful stitches. Beautiful stitches. Look at the sew offs we just did. Look at that. That's insane. Oh, my Lord. I'm glad we don't have these machine giveaways every day of the week, or I would need to take two or three Red Bulls, let me tell you. Two or three Red Bulls without a doubt. Oh, boy. All right. Let's zoom out a little bit here. So there you've got Lori's 185J. It just went through a mound of sew-offs and didn't stumble over a single one of them. Everything from this buckram material, U.S. Army grade canvas, denim, Leather suede, genuine cowhide, polyester cotton, vegetable tan leather. We've got this uh, nylon webbing stuff that you tow cars with. It's got like a 2,000 pound tinsel strength on it. And then some more polyester type cotton stuff. There's nothing, nothing at all that can stop this machine. I tried. I just tried to stop it with going through all of this, all of, all of this stuff. Not a single thing could slow it down. Nothing. And the same thing over here when we look at the stuff that Bunny's machine just went through. Right over there, folks. Trying to find the machine. There it is. The same thing over here on Bunny's machine. We did this buckram material. Wait, i got to turn my screen around so I can actually see what you're seeing. We did this buckram material. Gorgeous stitch. 
we did eight layers of this U.S. Army grade canvas and it just zipped through it like it was nothing, nothing at all. We went through these four layers of heavy grade denim, not even a blink. We went through this leather suede, four layers of this stuff, and it just zipped through it. This cowhide leather just zipped through these two layers. Again, we're looking at probably around uh, close to eight ounces of leather. We did this uh, light polyester cotton stuff that is real slippery underneath the presser foot. And this machine, and Lori's machine as well, just went through it and laid down gorgeous stitches on it. We went through this vegetable tan leather, the same thing, about eight ounces, gorgeous stitches on that. And this uh, nylon webbing stuff, not even a blank as this 185K went through it and uh, sewed it just like it was a light textile. And then finally, again, a polyester cotton, and it just laid down gorgeous stitches on this as well. You know what? When you can deliver this kind of results, I've got to open up this uh, shot a little bit so we can see each other. And I'm going to sit in front of Lori's machine, uh, not because I don't want to sit in, but in front of bunnies, but Lori was our decided winner. And so I'm going to wrap this video up uh, right over by her machine and just kind of celebrate uh, this great success. So, you know, when it comes to sewing through, I'm going to try to get myself positioned here. When it, when it comes to sewing through this many layers, this rapidly, light stuff, heavy stuff, medium grade stuff, and each one of these machines, Lori's 185J and Bunny's 185K, just danced through it like it was the Nutcracker Suite. And it's just like, what's the big deal? We do this every day. We can do this every day. And that's my goal with my restored machines is not a one-off where you'll watch a video and you'll go, well, it's really cool to see that machine do that, but it obviously can't do it over and over and over and over and over again. You bet it can. And that's the difference between my machines and other machines out there. And I don't want to be braggiocious. I know I've been kind of puffed up lately a little bit just because I'm really feeling great at this new workshop and all that we're accomplishing here. It is our classroom. We learn together. And I'm able to share things with you, and then you're able to turn around and share things back with me again. That's the fun part of sewing is learning. And uh, great people like Nancy Zeman, who has now passed on, was another great example of that, also from Wisconsin, as some of you know, uh, the Beaver Dam area. Never had a chance to meet this lady, but I sure hope to someday because I'd like to shake her hand and say what a great teacher and what a great inspiration you were in the sewing industry to give people a sense of this can be fun, it can be goofy, it can be over the edge. You can push the boundaries and you don't have to apologize for it. You're just out there to enjoy. And that's why we're here. So I'm so proud of Lori's 185J. Matter of fact, I'll bring it out a little bit so you can see it a little bit closer in the camera shot with me in the shot as well. And I'm so proud of Bunny's 185K. These machines have been uh, a handful to try to prepare concurrently to try to get ready for this uh, show off between these two machines. And I don't know if either one of you, if any of you out there feel like either machine performed better, sounded better, had more girth, more power, more uh, grit. Uh, I don't think I meant to say girth. You know, these aren't real wide machines. Well, you know what I meant. But uh, I think they just performed both spectacularly. And again, Canadian made machines. Uh, I'm excited for uh, Lori is going to have her sister, I believe, come to the workshop and pick up this machine. So if that happens, I'll certainly post some pictures of that uh, great celebratory uh, uh, event of uh, Lori's sister coming here and, and picking up this uh, this contest winning machine. And I, I say contest winning machine not by accident. That, that implies that it's won a contest. Well, in my, uh, my opinion today, with this video uh, documenting the proof of the huge range that these two machines just sold, is that both of these machines are award winning. But the reality is these ladies stepped out of the shadows they stepped up to the, to the uh, plate and said, we are going to be victorious. We're going to rally all of our friends, all of our contacts, all of our whoever out there in Facebook land and get them to like our post. And they both were winners, in my opinion. And this is the evidence right behind here. This is what you can win 
if you jump into a contest of mine. So don't hide in the shadows. Get out there and make it happen. Congratulations, Lori. Congratulations, Bunny. I hope this was fun. I hope you guys really learned something about the amazing aspect of these 185s, whether it's the J that is going to be going to Lori or the K that's going to be going to Bunny. These are phenomenal Canadian-made machines, and uh, they really are, again, amazing, too, because of how compact they are. Smaller than the Featherweight, even shorter than the 99K when it comes to overall bed length. Phenomenal machines and not able to not not just sew heavy duty, but able to sew every range and every material that you witnessed today on camera and certainly more. So congratulations, ladies. And I would be remiss if I didn't wrap this video up with just a little bit more music. So stand out, stand by for a second. Gotta find it, gotta find it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Y'all come back now, you hear? I almost forgot to 